everyone. Today we're gonna continue a series of amateur trying to conduct a landing in a full flight simulator. My name is Alpse and I have basic knowledge of what is happening here inside the cockpit. And here is Pavlov who will sit behind my back and explain all the procedures needed in order to land an aircraft. Yes, and today I will be only air traffic controller. This time we'll put our stakes even higher. I will try to land Boeing 737 during light storm at night. So do not waste any minute longer. Good luck to all of us. So, Auxer. Yes. We will uh, prepare our aircraft for approach and for landing, and aircraft will land automatically, okay? okay. You just need to listen for my instructions and uh, do the corresponding commands, okay? Okay. So first of all, we need to change our airplane heading. So at the same levels, at the same level as your eyes are, there is a, a panel with a lot of numbers yeah. and few switches. One of these numbers are heading. Yeah, and you see, see that heading knob. So below the heading indicator, there is heading knob. Take this heading knob and uh, turn it left to heading 180. And uh, report me as soon as you finish doing that. Okay, done. It is illuminated 180, yes? Yes. Very good. Now, at the left of the heading indicator and knob, there is speed indicator and it is called IAS Mach. Yeah, Do you see. see that? I see. What is illuminated right now? 280. 280, yes? Yes. Uh, so, take the knob, which is below indicator, and turn it left to 210. Or 210. So, 210? Yes, 210. As soon as you finish, please report. Okay, done. Okay, very good. Now, do you remember where was the heading in the indicator and the switch? Yes. So, set now heading, switch to the left side to 130. 130. 130, yes. Okay, done. Very good. Now, on the right side of the heading knob, there is a, uh, a push button, which is called Warlock. Yeah, I see that. So, if you see that, push that button. It indicates on. Very good. You are doing great. We are now turning towards the runway and soon we will start extending our flaps and gear our configuration. So first of all, at the center console, do you see the flap handle? Flap handle? Flap handle. Where is it? Uh, at the center console on the right side. Near the seat of the first officer. Okay, I see. You see, yes? Yes. It is called flap, yes? Yeah. So, pull that flap handle and set to one position. Move it backwards a little bit. Pull it and move it backwards. Okay, okay done. So, you set flaps to one, one yes? Yes. Very good. Now, could you please report me, uh, do you remember the speed knob, where it is located, yes? Yes, I On do. the left side of the speed knob, uh, there is a course indicator. What numbers are indicated on the course indicator? On which side? On the left side. Uh, 80. 080, zero, yes? Yeah. Very good. So, set now heading also, 080. The heading knob, yeah. you moved in the past, now set. Turn it to the left side and set 080. Okay, done. 
Very good. Do you hear any abnormal sounds in the flight deck? No. Or some warnings? No. No, nothing. Very good. It means everything is under control. We're just shaking. I guess this is because of the light turbulence due to weather conditions. Okay. But you have nothing to worry about. And now, do you remember where was the console which was at the level of your eyes? Where you set heading and speed and yes. course. Now there is also altitude indicator on the right side of the heading indicator. It is called altitude. Yeah, I see. What is illuminated here? 5000. So with the knob which is below that indicator, rotate it to left and set 2500. 2500. Yes. Okay, done. You said it, yes? Yeah. Now, near the heading indicator, below the heading indicator is HD, HDG cell yeah. button, yes? So on the left side, there is also LVL CHG knob okay. and button, yes? It is now dark. So push that button and it will illuminate on. LVL? Yes, LVL change. Push that button and it will be on. Yeah, it is on. It is on, very good. Okay, so now we are descending a little bit and approaching the runway. Okay. Something is going on. What's going on? The sound, the, the alarming sound. The horn, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, the horn. Oh, so. Uh, between the flaps handle and a throttle handle which are on the our center console okay. there is a little black button called horn cutout you, you should see the letters horn cutout yeah i see so uh, push that button and it will cut off our horn okay okay I'm do you still hear that sound or no. no okay so now everything is fine once again Okay, now uh, 30 kilometers left to the runway, so uh, take the flap handle okay. that you moved in the past and set uh -huh. now to 5. Move it backwards and set to 5. 5, okay, done. 5, okay, very good. And now on the central console, which is on the levels of your eyes, yes. where we had heading indicator, altitude and speed, now set speed uh, to Correction, set speed 180. Now it should be 210, but reduce it to 180. Okay. And as soon as you finish, please report. Okay, done. done. 180. So, uh, could you please report all the numbers you see on the console which is at the level of your eyes okay i see course is uh zero eight zero okay uh the speed is one zero one eight zero okay the heading is uh zero eight zero and the altitude is uh two five zero zero okay very good now at the console which is at the level of your eyes you see the warlock button yes which is on indicated warlock yes so uh, below that button there is app button yes push that button it should be eliminated as on yes it is it is now yeah no and it's it isn't it isn't it isn't it was but it went out okay so still everything is under control then between the console which is at the level of your eyes and between the center console where you set flaps yes there is a middle console and that console we have gear handle okay. we will extend our gear it is black handle with the wheel at the end yeah i see that uh, so uh, take the handle pull it and move backwards i mean down okay i did it uh, the noises and it's gone uh, you remember the handle you set flaps? Yes. 
Remember, yes? Yeah. So I take the handle and set to 15. Move it backwards a little bit and set to 15. Okay, done. And on the console, which is at the level of your eyes, uh -huh. set speed 150. 150? Yeah, 150. Okay, done. Finished, yes? Yes. Uh, you should also now set flaps to 30. Take the same handle and set to 30, 30 yes. Okay. And set speed 130. Okay, done. And with the same flap handle set to 40. And speed 125. 125. With the same speed handle. Okay, done. Okay. Then now near the flap handle and the uh, throttle handle which is m moving every time now yes you see on the left there is speed brake handle yeah i see that so uh, take the handle uh -huh. uh, move it upwards and move it backwards a little bit just one centimeter and then release okay okay done finished yes okay and now on the overhead panel overhead panel which is situated above your head at the bottom of that panel on the left bottom of that panel, yeah. there are four same switches. Yeah, I see. Cinema. For the Cinema. lights. So turn all these switches to on. To How to do that? And push them in front of you. 100. Okay, down, right? Okay. Yes, I see that lights are illuminated 50. now. We are approaching runway 30. and we will land now automatically. Okay. On what the runway. I do? On the runway. <laughs> to stay on the runway, you should control airplane with your pedals okay if you push left pedal will go left if you push right pedal will go right but you have to maintain us on the center of our runway and then put your feet on these uh, pedals and push these two pedals okay, it I'm will trying. make our airplane to stop yeah you're doing great And now I see that we are stopped on the runway, so well done, Auxe. Good job. So today with the help of ATC and Autopilot, I managed to land the aircraft safely. Thank you, Paulus, for his clear instructions. High five. Yeah. Uh, and so the next time we will, do, we will try to do it without Autopilot. So, see you next time. <laughs>